Hey guys, what is up? Aoki here bringing you the exclusive scoop on one of the biggest changes I have ever seen them make to League of Legends. And I am really, really excited about it. This is the champion durability update. So I won't read this entire document to you, but basically what they are doing, guys, is they are reducing the amount of damage taken and given in the game. So I'm sure that people who have played this game for years and years like I have, have seen the game go from like a slower, more methodical, strategic game to kind of a fiesta almost party game with gold fluctuations going up and down. Everybody's one-shotting each other. Even tanks are one-shotting people. Uh, it's just gotten a little out of hand. So it says, why more durability? Devs and players agree there's currently too much damage in League of Legends. True. While tons of damage can be fun and exciting, we believe that increasing champions' defensive stats will be beneficial for letting players showcase their skill by giving them more opportunities for counterplay and to live out their high moments. And I 100% agree with that. I think back to the earlier seasons, you know, season three, four, five, and the team fights were so much longer, like, which really, like, gave you more room to showcase your skill. Uh, because the longer a fight goes on, the more room there is for error, the, the more room there is for player, good players to capitalize on the enemy team's players. Uh, you know, when your health bar doesn't just go from 100 to 0 in the blink of an eye, you've got a lot more wiggle room. It, it, it puts a bigger emphasis on positioning and, and decision making, and it, th these are really, really good changes, guys. So, uh, here's a TLDR of what you can expect in your games with the champion durability update. Players will feel that their champions are dealing and taking less damage. Burst champions must commit more resources or be further ahead to get quick kills and bigger windows of opportunity for counterplay. Skirmishes and team fights, as I said, will last longer. I think this is one of the best changes they have ever done for the game. And here's the actual numbers. So the base health for every single champion in the game is going up by 70. Health growth is going up by 14 per level. Armor growth is going up by 1.2 per level. MR growth is going up by 0.8 per level. And the total difference at level 18, you can see the numbers. The shields, heals and shields are reduced. So all healing effects in the games are reduced by 10%. That's massive. So we're talking Summoner Heal. We're talking Yumi. We're talking Soraka. We're talking Lifesteal. We're talking all healing effects in the game reduced by 10%. Same thing for shields. Uh, Grievous Wounds has been reduced. Runes. All these runes changes are being nerfed, and, and this is such an exciting change. Like, I genuinely think that this is going to change how League of Legends itself feels. Uh, it's going to change the champions that are good. I think that this is actually going to be a little bit of a buff to bot lane, because we're not going to be getting visited by, you know, a level 6 Zed when we're, like, level 4 and getting one shot. Um, I'm super excited about this. Like, I, I really think that this is one of the best directions Riot has ever taken the game. It's kind of sad that it's taken this long for them to do something like this, but I'm really, really excited about it. And, and like just top to bottom, you guys can read through all these numbers if you want to. But I mean, even the damage that Baron is doing is is being reduced. The turret damage is being increased, which means that turret dives are harder. Uh, you know, if an assassin actually wants to turret dive you, he has to really, really think about, you know, am I going to get out of this alive? I, I am so, so excited about this. I can't wait to see the effect that it has on it. And when it finally ships, you guys already know that we're going to be playing it. Uh, so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you can see all the different changes in place. But I think that this is going to make League of Legends a slower, better game. And I'm all about it. Like, everybody likes having that, you know, the occasional one shot. But this change is going to make it so that you actually have to commit resources or be super, super far ahead. So I think it's going to be rewarding, like, high-skilled assassin players and uh, not being so punishing for players that aren't necessarily making mistakes. They're just getting one shot out of nowhere. Um, I'm really, really excited about all this, as you can tell. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on it down in the comments. Um, yeah, can't wait. Let me know what you guys think. Take it easy. Peace.